this video, I'm going to show you a drawing exercise for the beginners. Before I could do a drawing like that, a long time ago in my first art school, I had to do a lot of training and different kind of exercises, which helped me building my skills step by step and improving drawing. One of these exercises I would like to show you today. This exercise is called a chessboard. This exercise will make you acquire some good practical habits, such as ability to draw straight lines and symmetric shapes, comparative measurement, and a good nice even rendering for your values. It will also strengthen your wrist and will give you more confidence with a pencil. But before I show you how it works in practice, let me show you what materials we'll need for this exercise. We will need a sheet of white paper, a 4B graphite pencil, and a simple eraser. At first glance, it might seem as an easy challenge, but in reality, it is quite much harder than you think it is. Let's start working so you can see for yourself. It's important that when you're working, your drawing is kind of vertical in front of you. So if you don't have an easel, you can make a setup with the chairs. One chair to sit on and one chair to put the board on. Let me show you how it works. So all you need is a chair like this or any other kind of chair and then two clips, which we're going to attach on the sides, just like this. And then we're going to put our board right here. Perfect. As you can see, the board is very stable. It doesn't move and it's perfect for working. So right over here, we can put an additional piece of wood and it's going to serve you as a little table to put your tools on. So our working place is set up properly and we are ready to begin drawing. It is very important that when you start drawing, the cast shadow from your hand is behind it and not in front of it like here, because it's going to be on your way when you work and it's going to make it very uncomfortable. So make sure that this light sword is coming from the right direction. I sharpened my pencil and I'm ready to do my first lines. So on the beginning, let's establish a size of our chessboard. Putting a little marking and I'm going to make my chessboard a little bit smaller than two size of a pencil, approximately as big as that. The thing that you need to know about drawing the straight lines is that when you draw a line, uh, when you have to draw a long straight line, you don't have to move your fingers or your wrist. You actually have to move your entire arm. Basically, your wrist is firm and your elbow is fixed as well, and it's only your shoulder that is moving. So if you move your whole arm from the bottom to the top just like that, it allows you to make a very nice and perfectly straight line. You can also notice how I'm holding my pencil right now. Basically, it's my thumb and it's my index finger that are holding it uh, mainly. So I can turn my wrist this way to make a vertical line and I can turn it this way in order to make a horizontal line. This part of my finger is leaning on the paper and when I draw the line, that part is leaning and sliding and the point of the pencil is carefully drawing you a beautiful line there, all right? So my hand, my hand isn't on the air, I'm leaning it on my board, all right? So this finger is leaning and then I'm leaning my pencil and then I'm starting to draw a line. Uh, the faster you draw your line, the straighter it will be. If you're going to take too long and you're going to be moving your wrist very, very slowly, there's much more chance that your line is going to be a little bit kind of baby and a bit curved and not uh, straight enough. So once you positioned your hand in the right way, just make sure that you actually move it pretty fast and that you maybe even draw like a couple of lines at the same time. But that really allows you to make a very beautiful straight and clean line. Remember that this exercise is only useful when entirely done without the rulers and with all the measurements taken with your pencil and your eye. So, after I have divided the big square shape into four parts, I'm going to divide each of these smaller parts into smaller sections and each is going to consist of three pieces. One, two, three. And now I map in the division markings on all the sides of my chessboard. This is a this is really hard work to do right now, just because you need to match these points and you need to make sure that the line between three of these points is actually looking straight enough. And if the whole thing isn't accurate, then 
it won't work properly. So hopefully we did it the right way. And right now I'm just going to try connecting these dots and see what's going to happen. By the way, not to make your drawing uh, be too dirty, you can take a piece of paper and then just simply lean your hand on it when working. So this is going to allow you to keep your drawing clean, for sure. Um, and one more trick, I'm going to show you how to check out the accuracy of your square shapes. But remember one thing, this, uh, this trick should be applied, this trick should only be used after you got to this point, all right? The whole work until this moment needs to be done just by your hand and by your eye. Everything should be measured only with your pencil and with your eye, like no rulers, no pieces of paper, anything, okay? Once you've got here, you can check out how accurate your drawing is. And the way you do this is this one. I'll show you. Basically, you have to take a piece of paper and then perhaps measure one of the sections. Let's say I'm going to measure this one right here. I'm going to put two little markings on my, on my paper like that. And then with this piece of paper, I can move around and then look if my other shapes are of the same size and as you can see wherever I go just very casually wherever I'm trying to use these two markings all of these square shapes are corresponding perfectly so this is a good sign right so don't do this on the beginning because um, you will lose a precious training but later on once you're done just to make sure that everything is really really exact and accurate this is a very good way how to check out any of your proportions all right there is one more way how to check out if your lines are straight what you have to do is you simply have to look at your lines from the side for example you choose to look at this line and so you look at it with one eye from the from the very side and what happens then is that this line is getting foreshortened. It becomes really, really, really short. So if it has some distortion, you can very easily see it from the angle. So any of these lines can be looked at like that. For example, uh, a little bit earlier on, I actually looked at this line from the corner, from the angle, from this side, and I noticed that it was bending slightly. So I'm going to adjust this, but it's a fantastic way how to see if line is straight. And finally, we have to render the value inside the small square shapes. First, I lay in a very light and transparent layer of graphite. And then on top, I pass with another one to make the square shapes darker and covered in a more even and homogeneous way. I use a point of my pencil in order to fill in between the cross-hatching marks a little bit of that white paper that is still showing until the rendering is perfect. I'd like to remind you that the goal of this part is to keep the drawing as clean as possible and render the edges as accurately and as sharp as you can until your drawing looks almost like as if it was printed. Another crucial goal to aim for is to make sure that all the dark square shapes are exactly of the same value and that you have avoided the patchiness in the rendering. Little by little, the work is progressing, and as you can see, I am almost at the end. And there we go. By the end, I have achieved all the goals, and exercise may be considered completed.
So now the exercise is finished and I must admit it has been whew, a very challenging one. I definitely feel stronger. I have a few more very useful exercises coming in next videos for the beginner level. So if you'd like to see them, remember to subscribe. Also give me your likes if you like the video and thank you for watching.